Hi everybody! So today I did a little bit of uh, pre-holiday shopping and uh, where I went was Goodwill which is you know a thrift store. I don't know if they have those everywhere or if they're just the US or whatever but um, Goodwill is probably the biggest thrift store chain here in Ohio so I often love to go to their stores because you can find all kinds of stuff and you never know exactly what you'll find. But um, I would just wanted to go through a few of the things that I found today and kind of show them. So a couple of the things I actually got were Imaginex blind bags. And uh, the thing I love about this time of year is uh, even at thrift stores a lot of times you can find brand new gifts, toys and things that you know kids got and I guess they didn't want them or sometimes I know Target donates um, some toys if they get I guess too many or there's some kind of packaging damage or who knows but I did get a couple of these Imagine X blind bags so I'm going to open those because I want to see what I got so let's open the first one and oh yes I was hoping to get this one yes it's the witch so yeah I've been wanting the witch really bad so as you can see she's a witch right there and then she comes with a little broomstick and uh, also comes with this like thing that you can put over her to make her look even more like a witch so you can do that but actually personally I like the figure better without the witch head I just I like the green and black girl I don't know I mean she doesn't she looks almost kind of like a female hawk or something I guess but I don't know I like it I think she's cute so that's the first thing that I wanted to show and I'm happy with that because like I said I really wanted the witch so that's pretty cool and then let's go ahead and open the other one the other one that I'd really like to have is the clown. So it'd be awesome if I got that one too. Because the only other one I have right now is the boxer. But Oh yes! <laughs> Open! Yes! Okay. So I did get the clown. So that's pretty awesome. And then uh, he comes with this little uh, head piece. And then what I really wanted the clown for actually was this little balloon dog because I've seen other people open this one on uh, YouTube and I just I love the little balloon dog. I think it's so cute. So that's what I actually wanted more than anything. But I do like the clown too because even though I'm not big on clowns like when I was a kid I was kind of scared of them. I always did like Bozo the Clown the TV show and this reminds me a lot of Bozo the Clown. And uh, I used to love like that game that they played on the Bozo show, you know, where they had like the cups in a row and the kids threw like balls in the cups trying to get it in all the cups. And if you watch the show, you probably know what I'm talking about. If you didn't watch the show, you're probably kind of clueless about what I'm talking about. So those are the Imaginex blind bags I got. And then I did get a few books. Uh, kids books because lately I've kind of been in a kids reading mood. I go through phases where I read all kinds of things. Um, this is the Tierra Club and it's called Winter Wonderland and it's uh, two Christmas stories. So I figure I'd give it a try. I mean hey it can't be that bad right? So I do love holiday stories especially this time of year. So it looks like a cute little easy quick fun read and I do write children's stories. Um, I've actually had a children's picture book published, and I've also had some children's ebooks published. So I find that reading kids' books, um, along with the fact that I actually just like to read them, it also kind of gives me ideas for my own books, and it um, kind of tells me what's popular right now with uh, kids and everything. So I look forward to reading this. I think it looks kind of fun. I'm going to move the bag out of the way so that I'll have more room to put things. So I'll go ahead and move these. All right, and let's see. The next book that I'm going to share, this actually isn't a kid's book, but it kind of looks like one. It's called The Towel of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff. And it's actually kind of like a philosophy book, but based on Winnie the Pooh. And it has, you know, a lot of like different sections from 
uh, different Winnie the Pooh stories and kind of talks about the philosophy behind them. So it's almost kind of like if you've ever seen those philosophy books that are like the philosophy of Harry Potter or the philosophy of the Lord of the Rings or the philosophy of uh, the Big Bang Theory or anything like that. It's kind of like that. It takes pop culture and then uses the pop culture to kind of talk about philosophy. And I find philosophy fairly interesting myself. And then, let's see, I got a couple other books and then uh, one toy that I want to show. So the next book is The Night Before Christmas and Other Holiday Tales, which is a treasury of illustrated classics book. And I thought this looked like it could be fun. It's like really easy reading. It's obviously for kids and stuff, but it's lots of different kinds of illustrated uh, Christmas stories. And at the beginning, I think it, yeah, it gives like a listing. It has The Night Before Christmas, The Elves and the Shoemaker, The Twelve Days of Christmas, The Gift of the Magi, The Friendly Beast, The Fir Tree, and various Christmas carols. And I think I've actually, I'm familiar with all these stories except for maybe The Friendly Beast and The Fir Tree. I'm not sure I know those stories, but all the rest of them, obviously, I'm pretty familiar with. But I do like to read, like I said, I like to read Christmassy kind of stuff. So I thought this would be a fun book to read. And actually, um, I think this came originally from the dollar store. So somebody probably bought it like there for a dollar and then donated it to Goodwill or whatever. But I wanted to read it. I thought it'd be a quick, fun, easy read too. So that's another book that we'll be reading. And some of these I may review later on another video if they're really good, but a lot of times I just kind of show the books off and I mean, unless they're really worth commenting on, I don't necessarily do a review of every book I read. And then I also got this book, Pieces of Me by Charlotte Gingras. Um, and this book, it's uh, like a young adult story, but kind of, uh, I guess the story is about a girl who is kind of lonely, lives a really lonely life where she doesn't have much communication with other people um, through circumstances that aren't really her own fault. And she tends to kind of connect with people through books. And that appeals to me because I've always been the kind of person I really connect with people through books. And that's why I became a writer and that's why I love to read. So uh, I thought it would be an interesting story. And then it sounds like, you know, at some point in the book, she actually goes out into the world and suddenly she's, you know, experiencing everything she's always dreamed of. And I guess the book is kind of about how she actually deals with it and if it lives up to her expectations and stuff like that. So I thought it looked like an interesting book. Um, it looks like a pretty serious piece um, and this one possibly I may review at some point because it sounds like it's probably a pretty deep, um, you know, kind of emotional piece. And a lot of times those are the ones that I end up review, reviewing because I want to share any books that I think are really, you know, that really make you think or make you feel or make you, um, you know, look at the world in a different way. And then the last thing I got at Goodwill today was this Bella Sarah puzzle. And as you can see with the purple sticker, it was only 59 cents and it's brand new. It's actually never been opened. You can see like, yeah, it's never been opened. So, I mean, that's a good deal, 59 cents for a brand new puzzle. And I always liked Bella Sarah um, stuff. I like horses a lot. I mean, My Little Pony has always been one of my favorite things, but I just like horses and ponies in general. And I actually do have some of the Bella Sarah collectible trading cards which maybe someday I'll do a video about like all the trading cards I have because I have a ton of those. But yeah, I, I wanted this. I thought it was, you know, a great deal. And it also has an exclusive collector card inside of it. So it'd be kind of interesting to see what card that is. But I was really excited to get it because 59 cents, hey, you can't beat that. And, you know, I love getting brand new stuff at Goodwill because it's just exciting. You know, you pay so much less than you would at a regular store. But that's kind of my little mini shopping haul from Goodwill today. And I really enjoyed everything. And I hope that, you know, I hope everything that I got, I'll enjoy. 
but we'll see. And I'm really excited that I got these. I just, I couldn't believe that I actually got the two I really, really wanted. So that was just really, really good luck. Um, the witch one, I, I thought that that may be the witch because I could kind of feel like the rim of the hat in it. But I wasn't positive because it can be hard with blind bags to tell that kind of stuff. But I guess it was her, so I was excited. And the other one, I was just hoping maybe it would be the clown. So that was pretty awesome. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And all my links are in the video description, Facebook, Twitter, all that kind of stuff. So check me out there if you ever want to. And I appreciate all of you watching. Uh, if you want to, leave a comment and let me know what you thought of the video and uh, the books and anything else like that. And I appreciate all of you watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.